this video will explain how to set up your computer ahead of your first virtual visit using Zoom. The steps outlined in this video will only need to be done one time as an initial setup for your device. To get started, you'll need a device with access to a camera and a microphone. This could be a desktop computer, a laptop, a smartphone, or a tablet. When it comes to choosing a device for a virtual visit, use a device that you know well and are comfortable with. This video will focus on using a computer, such as a laptop or a desktop. If you plan to use a mobile device, such as a smartphone or tablet, please watch our alternative video, how to prepare for a Zoom virtual visit using a mobile device. While it is possible to use Zoom directly through a web browser, such as Google Chrome or Safari, it is best to download the Zoom application onto your computer for a smoother experience and to reduce the chance of technical difficulties. If you do not recognize this icon as an application already on your computer, you likely will need to download the Zoom application to your computer. To download the Zoom application to your computer, open your computer's web browser and navigate to zoom.us forward slash download. When the web page loads, click the download button to download the Zoom client for meetings. This will save the installation file to your computer. Locate the file on your computer and double click it to begin the installation. Follow the prompts on your screen to complete the installation process. Once the installation is complete, double check you can locate the Zoom application on your computer. You may see this icon on your desktop, in a programs menu, or in an applications folder. Once you locate the Zoom application, open it. You should see a screen that looks like this, prompting you to sign into a Zoom account. You may already have a Zoom account that you've used in the past, perhaps even to connect with family and friends. If you do, it's okay to use the same account for virtual visits. Go ahead and click sign in. If you do not, click sign up free to set up a new account. This will open your web browser and prompt you to create a free Zoom account. Enter your date of birth and your email address, then press the sign up button. Zoom will send you an email to confirm that your email address is valid and to activate your Zoom account. Locate this email in your inbox, and if you don't see it, double check your email spam or junk folder. Click the Activate Account button. Your web browser will open and you will be asked to enter your first and last name and choose a password. Your first and last name will display at your appointment time, and it's important that you can be properly identified by your healthcare team before your virtual visit. Once you're done, head back to the Zoom application and follow the prompts to sign into your new account. Enter your email address and password and click sign in. Once logged in, you'll see a screen that looks like this. If you don't, check for an icon at the top of the window that says home and click on it. To double check how your name will appear at your appointment time, click on your initials or profile photo in the top right corner of the window. Your name will display here. If the name shown here is not recognizable to your healthcare team, select My Profile from this menu. A web browser will open, prompting you to sign into your Zoom account. Once logged in, you'll see your name. Click the edit link to the right to modify your first name, last name, and display name. It's good to perform a test to avoid any technical issues during your virtual visit. To perform a test Zoom call, open your computer's web browser and navigate to zoom.us forward slash test. Press the join button and your Zoom app will open a test call. The test call is a simulation of a real Zoom meeting. Follow the prompts in the test call one at a time. If prompted, press join using computer audio. Once in the test Zoom call, 
you can practice turning your microphone and camera on and off by pressing the mute, unmute button and start video, stop video button at the bottom of the screen. Once you've verified your camera and microphone are functioning as expected, you can end the test call by pressing the leave button. If you do not see the leave button, hover your mouse cursor over the zoom window to unhide it and then click the leave button. Then once more, click leave meeting. You are now ready for your virtual visit.